Hello everybody, and I'm going to explain to you all why vote splitting actually helps Donald Trump in the long haul. Now, I do believe that uh, ranked choice voting is a good thing, that which means that if you vote third party, that your vote isn't thrown away. That your second choice, uh, if it is a that one of your later down choices, um, will count eventually. That so it pro it shows that everyone's vote matters. Hmm. I forgot a state. Several states, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> and so these are the uh, states that we ha are going to be looking at. Everything else down through everything else that is gray is the states that would not be called in the first round. As you can see, we have 198 electoral votes that will go to Donald Trump. These are all the states that he won 50 percent or more in that are in red are the states that Donald Trump won 50% or more in. The states that are currently in blue are the states that Hillary Clinton won 50% or more in at the end of the day. Now there are, now they would have multiple rounds of voting. Each state would be too close to call it. They cannot get a candidate that has broken 50%. Iowa, Ohio, Battleground State, just as Iowa and Ohio, Texas and Georgia, they would be called on the first, they would be called on their first ballot because Donald Trump would break 50% in the state. Look it up. He did break 50% in the state. So, round two calls, Arizona, um, Donald Trump would lead Hillary Clinton by four, but would not break 50%. Colorado, Clinton would lead by four, but not would, would lead Trump by four, but would not break 50%. Florida, Trump would lead by one, but would not break 50%. Or, excuse me, I'm sorry. At Maine at large, nobody would break 50%, but Clinton would... Uh, would uh, lead by two. Michigan, no one would break 50%, but Trump would lead by less than one. Same thing with Minnesota. Uh, Clinton would lead with 1%, roughly. Nebraska second, nobody would break 50. Uh, Trump would lead by one. They would call Nevada in the second round, and shock, and shock to all, Donald Trump would actually break 50% in the state. He would win in the second round. That's why I'm putting in the likely column. That's second round, first, second, third, fourth, or in anything beyond. So Trump would win the state of Nevada under the um, um, the ranked choice voting system. Guarantee you, if Democrats see this, they're going to stop wanting a uh, ranked choice voting because they this is they're realizing this actually helps Trump and not the Democrats. New Hampshire would be too close to call. Clinton would narrowly edge out Trump. New Mexico would not be called yet. Clinton would uh, lead with eight points. This is all second round still. North Carolina would not be called. Trump would lead by roughly three. Pennsylvania, too close to call. No one's hit 50 yet. Trump would lead by one. Utah, surprisingly, would be too close to call. Trump would lead by a lot, but would not break 50%. Uh, the vote splitting, I guess you could say, with McMullen and Clinton. Virginia would be called in the second round. It would go to Clinton. She would break 50% in the state. Um, Jill, it was actually Jill Stein's um, voting tally that actually put her over the edge. Wisconsin would be too close to call. Uh, Trump would lead. Now it's time for round three. We would only have two round two calls. Now here's how I would imagine ranked choice voting. I would assume that we would have one, we would have, let's say, four or five election days. It would go back to back to back, or at least we would call a majority of the states on the first day, and it would take at least a week or two for us to finish calling them due to the ranked choice voting. And we would eventually get the electoral map probably before the end of November. Round three, Arizona would still not be called, though Trump would... Narrowly edge out Clinton would edge out Clinton by three. Colorado would still not be called. Clinton would edge out Trump by five. Florida would be called for Donald Trump on the third round. That would go to Donald Trump. He would, he would. Uh, Gary Johnson's total would put him over fifty. Would put him at fifty-one point twenty-two. Main at large, too close to call. Clinton would narrowly edge out Trump by, or excuse me, she'd be leading by four. Michigan, Trump would, or excuse me, Clinton is actually leading. Would lead in Michigan in round three. She would be leading by roughly one percentage point. Minnesota, Trump would be leading by four, or by actually a one, roughly one percent. Evan McMullen's vote would put him over Clinton. Nebraska second would be called in the third round. That would go to Donald Trump. He would break fifty. He'd in the third round. He'd be given fifty-one point six percentage points. New Hampshire too close to call. Clinton would lead by roughly one. New Mexico too close to call. Clinton would lead by by nine. North Carolina would be called in the third round. That would go to Donald Trump. He would, at the end of the day, win 52.57% of the vote in North Carolina due to the ranked choice voting. Pennsylvania, Donald Trump would lead. Actually, yeah, he'd lead by uh, 
0.02 in Pennsylvania. Utah still too close to call. Trump leads by a lot, but he is not break 50 in round three. Same thing with Wisconsin. Uh, Trump would narrowly edge out Clinton in Wisconsin. But, but here's the thing, guys. Round four, Clinton does not break 50%. This actually helps Donald Trump because a good majority of the libertarian voters, the, all, ugh, excuse me, a good majority of the voters who voted for Gary Johnson or Evan McMullen would have voted for Donald Trump. And that would put him over 50 in Utah, Cal Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, and Maine at large. Instead of getting 306 electoral votes, he would crack 342 electoral votes and possibly a 2 to 3 uh, popular vote percentage win. So, and so, instead of us hearing talks that, um, that we should abolish the Electoral College, it would be more of impeaching Trump for allowing for having Russia meddle in the election. We would still hear that today instead of, oh my god, Trump, it would be Trump cheated. Okay? At the end of the day, um, ranked choice voting helps Trump more than it does anyone, more than it does the Democrats. It'll most likely keep helping Republicans because we have more right-leaning um, political parties than we do left-leaning. The Green Party, yes, that'll be the, probably the number three party this election because Joe Jurgens is not that strong of a candidate and I'd rather vote for Harry Hawkins over her. But anyway, guys, this is the chaotic one saying peace.